Ah, wow. Flying is so much fun. Guys, you gotta try it out. I wish everybody could have an Iron Man suit. It, mm, no. No, I don't wish everybody could have an Iron Man suit. That's not good. That wouldn't be good at all. What would I be? I'd just be, oh, hey, look, it's just another Iron Man. Yeah, pff, who cares? Yeah, that wouldn't be fun. No, I wouldn't enjoy that. Oh, I'm just gonna land down here. I've been kind of putting this off a long time. Well, not a long time, but past week. Oh, I don't want to go in. I mean, what am I going to say? What am I going to do? It's kind of weird. I, I did bring some flowers. I brought some poppies. Because I think poppies are a nice way to say that you're not forgetting about somebody or something like that. So, yeah, whatever. Uh, and I feel... You know, I, I've been trying to be real positive and stuff, but the last week has been so hard. I mean, Agent Smith died, and now the kid's in the hospital and stuff like that. And when I finish this, I'm going to go straight and straight to the kid and see how he is, but well, I don't know. I don't want to do this. Come on, just be brave. Just go for it. Um, okay, so just get here. Just go to the cemetery. Pay your respects, and then you can go. Live long cemetery. And I just broke the door. Wow. Um, okay, sorry. I will pay for that door. I will pay for it. I swear. Well, okay, this place is pretty spooky. I don't like cemeteries. They're so weird. Um, Hopefully there's nobody else here, so I can just get in and say my piece. Um, wow. Um, uh, uh, what do we say? It's just a piece of dirt. No, okay. Pay respects. Be respectful, okay? Um, hey, hey, agent. Um, doesn't look like you got many flowers. Um, uh, but you know, look. I've been kind of putting this off, and I'm sorry. I miss you a lot. I really do. But I don't know how to deal with things like this. I'm not good with loss. I mean, when Cap went, you were kind of the only guy I could talk to. Yeah, you, know, you, 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 granted, you weren't very, very active. You didn't want to do a lot of things that I did, but we could always talk, and you, I could tell that you cared. But I don't know. I don't have anybody anymore. Although I do have the kid, and I know you said that I should look after the kid and stuff like that, and I am. I'm going to. Maybe I should use the kid as a new project and. You know, raise them right. Raise them the way you would have. You would have raised them. Look, basically what I'm trying to say is I miss you, and I'm just gonna leave these these poppies here, Maybe just here and here. Yeah, that looks nice. I'll bring the poppies. The rest. Of Why am I just picking up stuff all the time? Uh, maybe I'll bring these other poppies to the kid. Yeah, I don't think he likes flowers or anything, but now um, I'm telling you, said said hello. Um, I'll come back and visit. Don't worry, I'll come back and visit more. It's just. I don't like graveyards, especially this one. My, my parents' grave is over there, and I don't even want to go see that because that'll just get me all upset. And look, I just came to say hello and pay my respects. But I'll be back. I'll bring the kid too. Yeah, he'd like to come and say hello. So, um, look, I'll see you later because I better get over to the hospital. Uh, bye. I was going to say, um, just see you soon or don't go anywhere, but it doesn't look like he's going to be going anywhere at all. Uh, well, hey, there's that door that I broke. Better just close this up again. Okay. Straight to the hospital. See how the kid's doing. He wasn't doing too good the last time I saw him. He couldn't really breathe properly. Um, he did have him in intensive care. And Dr. Steve said he's holding him to, I don't know, look for, I don't know, anything that's wrong. Maybe with his breathing or something, his lungs. I don't know if you get too much smoke in your lungs, that it can be really, really bad for you and you could die from it. So, oh, hopefully the kid's okay because there's something wrong with him. I never, ever, ever forgive myself. I just got to get straight over there. I'm pretty sure that Dr. Steve told him I'm coming, so hopefully he's excited. And hopefully he's able to walk around and do a few things. That'd be cool, because I'm sure he's bored. Oh, the hospital. Hospital food, hospital smell. I don't like it. It's not nice, but hey, the kid needs some cheering up. And if Iron Man can cheer him up, then that's fine. You know what? I'm going to visit the hospital more often. I'm sure there's some sick kids in the hospital that could need do with some cheering up. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, let's get there as quick as we can. Ah! This is it, almost there. Cannot wait to see the kid. Yeah, man, I've been so lonely lately without him. Oh, he's so cute and cuddly and stuff. He's like a puppy. Yeah, he's kind of like a puppy. Should I get him a lead? My leash? Nah, nah, I can't do that. That'd be a little bit weird. Um, okay, let's get down and see him. Oh. <laughs> I'm supposed to be the cool Iron Man guy, and I'm holding flowers and I'm bringing them into him. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna bend the flowers. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna bend the flowers. Um, 
I can't just show up. Maybe I should take the flowers back. I can't just show up empty-handed. Oh, this place is busy today. Um. Oh, there's gotta, there's gotta be like a store in here or something like that. Um, hello, Miss Reception Lady. Um. Yeah, there's gotta be something like that in here. Um. Uh. Yeah, look. Hospital store. Awesome. Yes, 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 yes. Um. Okay. Um. What do I want? Um. Let's have a look around. Um. Sorry, guys. Uh. Maybe. Bushy, something like a nice toy or something like that. Yeah, that could be pretty cool. Um, what's that? Is it like a, it's like a guy with a squirrel on his head? Squirrel man? Squirrel man? Maybe? I don't know. Um, I wonder if they got any Iron Man toys. Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, maybe uh, maybe a little toys. Oh, an etch a sketch. Etch a sketches are awesome. I'll pick one of these up for him. Okay, I got an etch a sketch. Um, hey, uh, I'm pretty sure we have a tab here because we're here at this that often. Um, can you just stick this etch a sketch on the My Adventures tab? Um. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, thanks a lot. Um, okay, uh, okay, awesome. I got my awesome, cool etch a sketch. So that's cool. Um, where, where do I go from here? Where was he again? Was he in? Oh wow, he was in intensive care. That's right. Oh, um, okay, so he's in here. Oh hey, there's Doctor Steve. Awesome. Okay, I got the emergency operating room. That's where he was. I'll bring him his etch a sketch and we see what's up. Oh, there's one of the doctors too. Um, hey, I'm just, uh, I'm just here for a. Uh, for uh to see the yeah i'm just here to see the kid okay i'm just gonna go ahead hey kid what's up i got you and it just sketch thing here what is going on here um you, dr steve where's the kid i <laughs> come on like really this is getting out of hand um oh, i can't i can't see the kid oh well oh no no doc don't tell me you gotta you gotta be straight with me come on he didn't make it. He made it, right? Please tell me he's okay. <laughs> Don't do this to me. I just lost someone really close to me. Cap and now Agent Smith. And now the kid. No, this can't be happening. Please. Now, what's going on? Uh, no, Iron Man. He's not dead. Do you not think that maybe I would have rang you or called you if something had have gone wrong? Come on. For a genius and a superhero, you really can be quite... <laughs> Beg, beg your pardon, but stupid. <laughs> no, the kid's fine. He said that he just wanted to uh, go out. He hasn't been out of this room for the past week or so. So I decided it was okay to let him out. Um, look, I don't know how to say this, but I didn't have a chance to run many tests on the kid beforehand. He's not what we think. He's a genius, an absolute genius. Uh, put it at that. In fact, I think he's smarter than you, but something else, anybody else, any other human would have died from that. I've been running some tests. He's more of a superhero than we think. Phew! Well, at least he's not dead, like I thought. But hold on, more of a superhero? Yeah, I knew there was something up with that kid. I knew it. I said it all along. Oh my goodness. It's like this is written in the stars or something. This is crazy. First, the kid's a genius, and now he uses these awesome superpowers, according to you. Like, so, what does this, what does this mean exactly? Is it just normal superhero powers? I mean, yeah, I, I wondered how he survived. I mean, the building came crashing down, plus then the smoke and the fire. He was fine. He was okay, apart from him just being a little bit scared. But maybe he doesn't even know his own strengths. Maybe he doesn't even know his own weaknesses. Maybe, wow. This is exciting. This is just like little Ropo, except this guy is only a small little kid. Wow, I'm so excited. Maybe he can be... He could be one of the leaders of the Mind Avengers with Ropo. I gotta get him and little Ropo together. Maybe we can, I don't know, compare the two together and see maybe if it's the same kind of DNA they have or something. This is crazy, Doc. Yes, I know. It is quite strange that I never really had the chance to examine him before. I think we are looking at, dare I say it, maybe even stronger than Little Ropo. Problems are though, he's so young, he could turn bad. He's like a sponge now. He will absorb everything you tell him. So you, we've got to treat him right. We've got to treat him with respect and turn him to the good side. Um, let, let's go look for him. Ooh, this is exciting! <laughs> this is so cool! Okay, now I'm gonna go and have a look around for him. Yeah, he couldn't have got too far. Uh, kid! Kid, where are you? Vending machines, no. Anybody see a little kid? Anybody? Um, 
Little cute kid, uh, maroon top. He's, uh, I don't know. I don't know. What, what height is he? I don't know. Like, one foot? I don't know. Is that even a thing? I don't even know. Uh, let's ask this girl. Uh, hey, miss, you haven't seen a small little guy? Um, you know, like a wine-colored uh, hooded top. Um, he's tiny. He's really small. He's real cute. You haven't seen him around, have you? Huh? Yeah, sure. I saw that kid. He came and gave me this note and told me to give it to Iron Man, and then he walked straight out the door. He looked pretty sad. Hold on a second. What? What do you? What do you mean he ran out the door and left this note? He's a kid. Why did you leave it? Let a kid run out the door. Oh wow. Um. Okay, kid. Kid, where are you? Seriously, come on back. What is this? Some sort of prank? Um. Dear Mr. Iron Man, I'm leaving. I'm too much of a danger to you. All I do is get into trouble. I'm running away. Oh, if you realize what you've done, that it's so irresponsible for a nurse. Oh no, the kid's out in the city on his own. Oh no, he's got no suit, he's got no money, he's got no nothing. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Kid! Kid, come back! Kid! Oh no, he's well gone from here. Oh no, what am I gonna- Hey, guys, have you seen a little kid? No? Nobody's seen it? Hey, hey, the opticians, you guys seen a kid in here? Or have you guys seen anything at all because you need glasses? Oh, wow. Um... Oh, okay, calm down. I gotta get back home, uh, gather up some agents. I need to get to the police station and put a report out of a missing kid. Oh no, I gotta find this kid. I can't believe he ran away. Oh my God.